Hi, my name is Julie here, and today I thought I was going to share how I re how I did my cover. <laughs> I was going to say like redid my cover, but I just painted it. So I have the pocket page notebook, which comes with this sort of greyish craft cover, which is lovely and perfect if you want to do something different. Um, so what I did is I took some black matte acrylic paint and uh, just scrape that quite roughly. Uh, I like that kind of rough. Uh, it looks like it's scraped on, but if you like it neat, then by all means paint it neat uh, all the way to the edges. But I'm not really a paint to the edges kind of gal, so I just made it rough. <laughs> um, and I made a, I used a palette knife because it's easy to clean. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do is take a, a circle. This is just like using a, a two inch circle punch. And then my favorite white pen, which is the Jelly Roll white pen. And that is going to be my base. And I'm just going to doodle. I'm going to fill this whole cover uh, with my white pen with doodles. Because I apparently had a lot of time. <laughs> so, um,. Yeah, and in this circle I will write um, when I started and finished the book. So yeah, uh, I find those very relaxing and very fun to do. I know people, some people don't like, uh, they find it like uh, stressful or irritating and they cannot be bothered with doodles and then don't doodle. I mean, I mean, I mean that is. I think it's that simple. If you, if you like the doodle effect, I think there are quite a lot of different scrapbook papers that you can buy and cover. I know um, uh, Flourish by Maggie Holmes have a, a few uh, those kind of doodly looking flowers, especially in the the six by eight pad. There are a few and just use that to cover. But I think it's really fun and um, what I like about these pocket page notebooks is that they come so uh, they come so bare and so ready to take the medium that you want to use and I think it's really fun. Um, so yeah, so my tips for doing this if you um, want to doodle and you find it a bit tricky, uh, what I like to do, especially if I'm going to do something like this, is I'm, I'm starting with my elements. You can see I'm sitting here thinking what what pieces I'm going to choose and usually what I do is I pick like five or six elements so and I'm, I'm sticking with those and that is for a few reasons. One is I think it looks kind of nice because I have the same elements sort of goodly balanced throughout the page and then it's quite easy because you know that these are the elements I have to choose on, on filling the space. So what I like to do is I like to have a few bigger ones or some uh, shape that I can sort of change the size of. Um, I like to have some that are a bit more round shape and I like to have some that are a bit more lined shapes and some that I can make like really tiny and really fill tiny spaces. Um, so on this page I have like a very simple rose with a few leaves that I can point in different directions depending on what space I want to fill. I have like a, what do you call it, a twig with like little leaves. And then I have a flower that sort of divides in two with petals going up. Um, so there's three. <laughs> Uh, the fourth one is the big leaves. They have two big leaves and they are like striped. And then I have um, the tiny little flowers with four petals and they are usually in a group of three. And those, they are like really good filler flowers. So if I really need to fill like a tiny space, I can make a tiny one and then a bigger one if I need to fill a bigger space. And then I also have one, there's one leaf and then like a flower stem up and then like a little bell flower on the top. So there are six, I think. Uh, and what I like about that is that, um, I mean, I have different designs or different types of flowers that I do, but I like to pick out five or six uh, 
or four or five or something that makes sure that I have a good variety of flowers in different shapes so that I can fill the space I know what this what the the designs I have to go on um, these are the ones I can pick it doesn't going to be too messy because they are repeated all over the cover and um, they're easy to choose from but they also have a lot of different shapes so that I can fill the spaces and not making too like uh, too blocky or too stagnant. So yeah, that I think <laughs> are my tips um, for doing these kind of flowery doodly covers or I mean you can fill a whole page with that and use that as a background or I mean the end is <laughs> I mean you can go how far you want. I think it's really fun. So what I decided to do on the back cover is to incorporate all of those elements that I have used on the front cover. So starting with that sort of big flower or the big rose with the petals and then the two uh, flowers that comes from the same stem. Um, and we have the big leaves. <laughs> uh, we also have the little twig um, and the little flowers are like the filler flowers. So yeah, um, that is my my cover for the April pocket page notebook. Hopefully this will last me all the way through May or I will have to buy more very very soon. <laughs> but yeah that is my cover. I'm really happy with how it looks. It looks like there's something that I have done. It looks very much like me. Uh, so yeah that is my tip. I hope you have liked this video and that I will see you soon.